Hey loves, welcome back to this channel. My name is Amy if you're brand new here. Today I am going to share with you another Q&A session. The first question is by Sue H. Hi Amy, I'm considering buying my first Chanel, the bucket bag. What do you think? I have several Chanel's from my mom and they're very classic. I need your honest opinion. Personally speaking, the bucket bag that I got is one of my favorite top bags um, it's definitely become one of those that i reach for all the time it's so easy to wear i mean every bag has pros and cons right so the cons on that bag is pretty minimal in my opinion the only con is that sometimes you do have to find your items a little bit just because the opening is not the largest but that's also because i don't really bother opening and closing the drawstring i just let it be so if you take the time to open your bag then of course you're gonna have a better time like a easier time finding your things but for me um sometimes it's a little hassle but it's not really a big deal i actually don't mind it as well as much because it's not such a it's not a black hole. You can still see everything at a glance, except that when it's really full, then you kind of have to dig in, a, in it a little bit. But I say go for it. The bucket bag is one of my favorite. The main feature that I love about this is that it comes with this top handle. This top handle really makes the bag for me. But not only that, the chain and the, the little uh, leather brake here is so comfortable. I can wear this bag crossbody. It has a great drop on me. Um, again, this is a seasonal style, but like I said, once you find one that you love, then go for it because I don't know. Personally, I'm a bucket bag fan. I own two bucket bags and I love using them. I love a size that's not super big. I used to own the larger uh, bucket bag from Louis Vuitton. It's the Noé, the Petit Noé. So that one was a little bit bigger. Um, this one is substantially smaller, so I do prefer it because I really don't carry that much on a daily basis. So this is a perfect size for me. So choose one, uh, go for one that really works for your lifestyle. Um, I would look out for features like a top handle and having like a leather brake like this or a crossbody wear as well, shoulder wear. I think that they're super comfortable. This one is super lightweight as well. So yeah i say go for it i highly recommend it uh if you can get the same one somehow go for it i feel like this is one of the best bucket bags that chanel ever made um so yeah i i love it i i say go for it monica lang um do you think that you will let go of your jumbo flat because you have uh you're more drawn to smaller bags now that is a great question so my jumbo i don't really use it as much so the jumbo that i have is a single flap so the weight on my jumbo is actually quite reasonable it's not too too heavy uh, but obviously i know that the double flap ones are very heavy even people that used to think that they're not heavy think that they're heavy now so <laughs> i'm definitely happy that mine is not the double flap uh, having said that it had occurred to me several times that maybe i should just sell mine just because i don't reach for it as much but I also mentioned in one of my past videos, I don't know if you've watched it, that um, I do hesitate a lot on selling any of my Chanel items simply because Chanel is one of those brands where it's so hard to come by. It's not that it's the most difficult to come by like Hermes, but it's still decently hard because once an item, especially if it's a seasonal item or if it's a seasonal color, once it's gone, it's gone. And with the one that I have, the single flap, they don't make that anymore. So if I do sell it, then it's gone. Like if I were to find it again, I would have to again look in the second hand market again, make sure that the one that I see is in decent condition, all that jazz. So I really hesitate on selling any of my Chanel pieces, even if the ones that I don't wear that often, I still hesitate on selling them just because of that reason. Um, they're relatively harder to come by the prices keep on going up and you never know like even though i don't reach for my bigger bags now that much i might reach for them again more in the future so like that kind of thing i i just you just never know and i love all of my chanel bags enough that i don't feel like i need to sell any of them at least at the moment i don't feel like i need to uh, even if i don't reach for some of them 
as often as I would like to but yeah that's pretty much the reason why I I don't think I will sell it or at least if I do sell anything it would have to be something that I contemplated a long 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 time before I decide to let go the next question by Leila Mazar um, I'm thinking to get the cocoa handle but I'm worried about the corner wear I'm confused between the cocoa, the business affinity, and this trendy CC in the lighter color. I don't know which one is better, thinking of wear and tear. I like them all, but I cannot buy all three. I only have one Chanel bag, which is the classic flop in medium. I really love it, and I would like to buy the jumbo, but everyone says that it is very heavy, and I have shoulder problems. Since these three bags can hold more than the medium, I'm thinking of getting one, but I don't know which one. I am using my bag often, not just sometimes, so um, it has to be really good quality and hard wearing. So you were saying Coco Handle, Business Affinity, and Trendy CC, and you worry about wear and tear, and you will wear the bags often, and you currently have a medium large classic flap already. So, um, my personal opinion is that, <sighs> yeah, these three bags are amazing, but uh, let's talk about the Coco Handle first because I have three of them. So the Coco Handle is actually a really great bag, but I keep on saying that you should not get the Coco Handle as your first bag just because it's one of those bags where it's not the easiest to get into. It's not hard, hard, but it's not the easiest get to get into. And also, it's one of those bags where you kind of have to baby a little bit just because of the corner wear. Because corner wear is usually the number one place where um, the cocoa handle will will go. Um, so that's the cocoa handle. And plus the fact that um, some people don't like the fact that when you open the bag, the, the handle can actually... You know, it turns and it pokes you. It doesn't hurt or anything, but it's just something that you might care or that you might mind. Um, it's it's one of those things. Like I said, it's not the easiest to get into because you really have to yank the flap open and you know create increases behind the cocoa handle and then the 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 thing digging into you. The business affinity I do not own, but I do think that the business affinity because of its rounded corners. And the fact that it has a top handle and a shoulder strap, that it's a really good alternative as a second bag for you. That's my personal opinion. I feel like just because it's a rounded corner and they're always made of caviar leather, that it's a pretty hard wearing bag. It's, a, I think it's kind of considered a seasonal bag, a seasonal style, but it does come back very often, like every single year. So it's almost like a classic, plus it looks pretty classic. So in my opinion, between the Coco Handle and the Business Affinity, I feel like the Business Affinity would suit your needs pretty well, especially because you want to wear it more on an everyday basis. Trendy CC is a uh, made of lambskin. It's beautiful, it has like so many compartments also has the top handle as well as the shoulder strap so it's very similar configuration except that uh, it opens really easily really wide of the three i think the the trendy cc probably opens the most easily like most easily accessible except that it's in lamb skin and lambskin is one of those things where you know we hear that it's not as delicate as you think blah blah, blah. but i think it still boils down to your personal usage some people are just more careful than others that's just inherent in their own qualities they are just more careful as a person and also depends on where you live if you live in a very humid and uh, always rainy tropical climate i don't know if it's the best bag for you because lambskin is not good with rain it's not good if you get it wet all the time so it really depends on on how you use it and on your own personality whether you you know even if you do use it every day are you still a relatively careful person that type of thing because at the end of the day i can see that the trendy cc being a very very user-friendly bag except that it's in lambskin that's the only only thing that i would be worried about um so yeah i would say between the three <sighs> They almost all have some sort of cons to me, but between the three, I feel like if you want like a more sure bet, I would feel like the business affinity is a better option. It's not one of the best looking bags in my opinion. It's not bad looking, but it's 
you know, between the trendy CC and the business affinity, I definitely look the, like the look of the trendy CC more. Just looking at it from a very high level perspective and just me analyzing the bags alone and not really knowing how you are and where you live, I would say the business affinity is probably the best bet. The next question is by Leslie Craven. Uh, two questions. Do you feel that the chain on your 19 bag um, is secure being sewn there and also have you ever bought a denim bag from Chanel any regrets these three links are are pretty much like secured on it via these three I mean these two uh, leather loops here so this whole three piece of metal as well as these two uh, leather pieces are literally stuck on the bag on the leather so whether it's more like reinforced on the inside i can't really tell because i can only see it from the surface but judging just from holding it like this on my bag it seems fine um it doesn't look like it's about to fall off or anything and i hope it doesn't um so yeah i feel like it's actually secured pretty secure actually i can see a little bit here that the metal actually goes through the leather. You see that little bit of gold that's sticking out. It's not really sticking out. It's just the gold hardware that kind of goes through the leather. So I'm pretty sure it's secure because if it's not secure, then I don't know how they can release this bag and I mean, people are gonna have lots of problem with it in the future, right? I always go for the small size because I love a small size bag, but at the same time, I feel like small sizes are also lighter, they're less likely to get saggy and all that jazz. As for your second question, whether I've ever bought a denim bag, no, I have not. Actually, I lie, I have bought a denim bag before and it is a Chanel too. It is my Deauville uh, in the medium, is it the medium size? Yeah, the medium Deauville size and it's entirely made of denim. Uh, the interior was lined in a cotton drill, I think, cotton fabric. Um, and then the only pieces of leather is the handle, the top handle. Even the shoulder strap is intertwined with the fabric and, and the metal. So uh, did I regret the decision? A little bit because I was gonna say that I never bought a denim bag that I and that I would never spend that kind of money on on a denim material bag. In hindsight, I would not redo it again just because any fabric bag is just more prone to wear. Like leather is prone to wear too, but imagine fabric, right? It's even more prone to wear quicker and um, at the end of the day leather always wears better I think canvas from LV is okay because it's treated and the coating that they use on it is pretty decent I haven't had any you know protruding canvas problems yet the denim bag that I had I didn't use it very often just because it was such a large bag every time I were to load it, load it up it would get so heavy so I ended up not using the bag and um, a subby of mine reached out and wanted to buy mine just because she was looking for the exact same combination. So luckily I was able to sell mine and someone really wanted it. So I, it, it, it went to a really good home to someone who really liked it. So it worked out well. So in that sense, there was not a lot of regret, but just the fact that uh, I would probably not do it again just because um, yeah, fabric in general is probably not something that I would do again in a handbag. Tweed, I might, but again, I don't know. I hear mixed reviews. Some people say that it's really hard wearing, some people don't. Um, if you own a tweed bag, let me know what you think. Let us all know actually down below because I'm very curious. But great question. The next question is by Jesslyn Chen. You mentioned that you love the Palm Springs Mini now that there's a new version with the zipper exposed. Perhaps you can purchase that one. Or do you still prefer the old version? I did love my Palm Springs Mini a lot. I still do love it. I wish that mine didn't have a defect and I wish that I still have mine just because it was such a great, just such a great errands bag. And uh, like I said, don't have to worry about the weather. Having said that, I'm one of those people who once I own something and if I don't have it for one reason or another, I sometimes don't feel like getting it again. 
I don't know why. Even if it's not my fault or even if it's not the bag's fault. Um, it's just one of those things that I just... I feel like, you know, I've had the time with it. I've enjoyed it. It served its purpose. It's no longer in my life, therefore I should move on. Like, it's almost like a little bit of that mentality. But having said that, I still... I still do miss it and I do like it. I, I like the idea of the exposed zipper. I really don't have anything against it. Aesthetic wise, I'm neutral. I don't really think that it's ugly. I don't think that it's more beautiful. It's just what it is. And if I have the chance to add it back, let's say if I somehow can get a hold of one that is beautifully made, perfectly made, super well aligned and at that at the time of me viewing it that i have a really good vibe about it then yeah i will get it but if for whatever reason i don't have a good vibe with it for whatever reason it could be then i won't get it it's more like i'll see you know maybe i'll get it maybe i won't the next question is by vianca villanuva i'm pretty sure i didn't say that right but let's move on can you make a video about the number of luxury bags a, pers a normal person should have? Someone who doesn't have a YouTube channel. Also, what bags would you recommend? I think your question is so cute and funny because I'm a normal person too. <laughs> Except that I have a YouTube channel. But honestly, anybody can have a YouTube channel. You can have a YouTube channel too. Um, but yeah, let's go back to your question. So, um, I do... I do sort of see what you mean because ever since I started my channel, I definitely saw my collection grow. It really just, we influence each other. You know, the more YouTube you watch, the more you get into it. And the more you like talking about it, the more you sort of really get into it. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say that I have like an extravagant number of bags. I have a lot, but it's, you know, I still think that it's okay for for my own taste anyway. I feel like for my own taste, I feel like it's it's okay. It's 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 not too much. It's not little, but it's not too much. So in that sense, I feel like this is again a subjective uh, matter because. Like I said, I feel like I'm a normal person. I could literally stop my channel now and still be having these amounts of bags and or add on more and I would still feel completely normal about it. Or I could also have a lot less and be completely normal about it because it really just depends on where you're at at your life, um, at your career, um, and, and your financial situation because we are all different. Uh, we all have different needs we all have different lifestyles we all live in a different area and so it really just depends on all those factors but if i were to go back to the days where i didn't have a channel at the time i had the speedy 30 i had the alma pm i had the pochette mitsis yes i bought that before uh, i bought that i bought that before um I had my way before I had my YouTube channel and also I bought that when it first came out because I was just really attracted to the style. Um, did I have any other bags? I actually don't think I have any other bags. No, actually I had a little uh, clutch. The Mila clutch. So yeah, I think I had four bags. So the Mila clutch was kind of like a clutch bag I suppose. The Bushet Mitsis was just my one of my new favorites. The Speedy B was one of my first bags. It was actually my second bag and the Alma was my first bag. So um, yeah, I would say between anywhere between three to three to like five maybe. Just because I feel like anybody would probably need a larger bag, a medium bag, and a little bag like a little clutch bag for nighttime so anywhere between three and five would be a good number i think um so those were just my luxury bags that i owned at the time when i didn't have a channel but i also had you know a lot of different coach bags so do you count those as well i don't know do 
do you count those? Because I, I can't remember how many I had of those. I had many of them. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. Like I said, it really depends, but I feel like anywhere between three and five would be a good number. The next question is by D Jones. I have quite a few luxury handbags, but I haven't made the Chanel or Dior plunge yet. I honestly cannot wait to buy my first bag from these brands. Which of the two do you prefer? I think it's pretty obvious. Um, yeah, I love I love Chanel. I feel like their costume jewelry is so me. A lot of their bags are so me. And even bags that I don't own are still so me even though I, like, I don't own any classic flaps. The double flap, I mean. Um, I, I have a jumbo single, but that's about it. Um, but I don't own any of the classic sizes. I have the minis, I don't have medium large, I don't have the small. I have a lot of seasonal bags. And it's still my, my favorite brand, so I think it speaks for itself. However, I do love the aesthetics of Dior. Like whenever I see a Dior girl, I'm all over it. And um, I also filmed my wishlist video. I don't know if this will go first or my wishlist video will go first, but you can definitely watch my vi wishlist video. This year, I just really want to concentrate on on a couple, at least a couple of Dior handbags. So yeah, I, what can I say? I love both. Uh, I think if I were to, if I were you, I would probably start with Chanel first, just because I. I feel like everybody loves Chanel and even if you feel like you don't love it anymore, you can still relatively sell it um, and, and you know recuperate your money. I'm not saying that you should buy and sell because I always said before that selling is extremely hard. If you can avoid selling, please do. But I feel like um, you know getting into Chanel is probably a little safer. Next question by Chloe. Hey Amy, I've been wanting the classic Chanel mini rectangular in black for a while now and it seems really hard to get. I also like the classic medium double flap in black caviar but it's obviously much more expensive. I don't think I'll ever have the funds to get both. So if you have to choose between the two, which one would you think is a better investment? I think I can wear the medium flap even when I am 80 years old, but probably not the mini. I would rock either one even if I'm 80 years old. Uh, I don't think that there's an age to bags to be very honest. I, I feel like putting an age to a bag is, is a personal taste. Like some people just don't believe that you should wear a crossbody bag when you're 80 years old but some people don't care. So I'm one of those people who don't care. I, uh, why does it have to have an H at a bed? It, we're in 2020, like we're in so, like we're so late in the history of humanity and of like acceptance that it shouldn't even matter anymore. So in my opinion, it doesn't really matter unless it matters to you. If it's your personal style that you don't feel comfortable wearing a crossbody bag when you're 80 years old, then so be it, that's fine. Um, but it's just that I don't feel like it should be imposed on other people. So I feel like if you're worried about how other people think, please don't. If you like the mini and you want the mini and want to rock it when you're still 80, fine, do it. I think you should do you, girl. Um, so between the two, um, yeah, I really don't think you can go wrong. The mini, what I like about the mini is that not only can you crossbody it, but it's such a... I mean, it's also a trend now, but it, it, at the same time, it, it's such a great bag. It's just the right amount of space for downsizing. The look is slightly different. I feel like the medium large is a little bit more mature looking. Uh, it's a little bit more serious looking, but if you wear it crossbody, it sits a bit higher, but it's so cool looking. And that, like I said, Chanel is so fun because you can dress up or dress down. And I feel like with the mini, you can also dress it up as well. The mini in caviar is very hard to find. Um, at least in retail, it's not possible anymore. Uh, it's been discontinued for a while now. We don't know if it's coming back. There is still no news as to whether it's coming back. My essay just said that it's discontinued and 
that's it like she doesn't really say anything more than that with chanel or with fashion in general you just never know because things recycle fashion recycles i feel like every five to ten years and you know a vintage style comes back personally i wouldn't really um think ahead that far but that's just personal obviously you do you like i'm under 40 right now I don't want to know what I'm gonna do at 80 years old yet like I don't even know what I'm gonna do two days from now yet so I don't really want to think that far I feel like whenever I make a, a purchase decision that is you know a, a decent amount of money I'll think about whether I I would reach for it like a lot and also I want to I think about it whether in the next five maybe ten like but at least five years whether I see myself wearing the same bag again uh, over and over and if the answer is yes then i likely i'll get it so i think more short term but still long term so not long term to the point where i'm 80 like half of my like double my age but you know i'm still looking at it from like the five to ten year mark i really really think that this is personal style and that if you rock it and you're confident about it then people are gonna love it on you they won't think twice they won't think that it's inappropriate or anything because why is it their business to think that is inappropriate right so i hope that it was helpful and uh, i wish you the best luck and whether you get either one of them you would it, it's you know you would be totally okay getting either one of them because the mini is always so sought after you would have no problems reselling it if you if that's one of your concerns the resale value and the medium large is a classic so obviously it costs a lot more but it's a classic so like i said either way you cannot go wrong. Um, i hope that you guys enjoyed my answering session it's a pretty long video i don't know if i'll end up splitting it into two we shall see if you've enjoyed this video and you have not subscribed yet i urge you to consider subscribing uh, liking this video and commenting down below to let me know for the rest of you have a great day and week ahead of you and i shall talk to you again very soon bye